you're thinking about getting some earbuds for working out, or just something with an around-the-ear fit, the Powerbeats Pro are designed to be the best earbuds for you. With great fit and comfort, ease of use, and a nice design and good sound quality, they really hit the mark in a lot of people's eyes. Or at least, they did a couple years ago when they were first released. But how do they hold up today? Are they still worth the buy, or are they not as good by today's standards? Well, for starters, the Powerbeats Pro are a truly wireless earbud that come in a very sleek design and you can choose between a few colors to match your aesthetic. I thought they felt well built even by today's standards, and they're made of a lightweight plastic that's durable enough to withstand a couple accidental drops. They come with an IPX4 water resistance rating, which means that they're sweatproof and they're suitable for exercise, but they can't actually be submerged underwater. I found them to be very comfortable and the buds don't go too deep in the ear or retain much heat which is great for long-term use, but they do leak some higher frequency sound. I like that the ear hooks are malleable to optimize the fit, and they provide some added stability. You also get different tip covers to accommodate various ear sizes. I thought the control scheme was intuitive and well laid out. The Beats logo is a multi-purpose button that provides crucial functionalities. A single press will play or pause the audio, or you can manage your calls. A double press skips forward and a triple press skips backwards. I like that both buds can register your commands and each one has a volume rocker, so you can conveniently control your playback in either hand. A long press of the button activates your voice assistant and they support Siri voice actuation for a hands-free control, although not on Android. The smart pause feature is a useful addition. It automatically stops playback if you remove them from your ears. And I thought the built-in microphone had middling recording quality and the speech sounded relatively relatively thin and distorted, but this is pretty common among Bluetooth mics. Here's a test. This is a microphone test of Power Beats Pro by Beats. It supports Bluetooth 5.0 and it gives you a strong drop-free connection throughout its entire 33-foot range. Unfortunately, it lacks multi-point connection compatibilities and it doesn't support NFC pairing, so it can only be paired with a single audio source at a time. While they're compatible and easily paired with Android and Windows products, the Buds utilize an H1 chip, so iPhone users will experience easier pairing and a better connection. The latency is average, so they might not be the best choice for watching videos or playing games. If you're liking this video and you've learned something about the Powerbeats Pro, be sure to give the video a like. It really helps the channel out, and if you're interested in updated pricing, be sure to check the links in the description. I think the battery capacity is excellent and it outperforms many competitors at this price range. It delivers around 11 hours of continuous playback depending on your listening habits, which is adequate for lengthy training sessions and it outperforms the Apple AirPod Pro's maximum 7 hour runtime. The charging case carries some extra power and it gives you up to 24 hours of additional playtime, although the design is pretty bulky. They even have a standby mode to automatically shut down after a period of inactivity to save the battery. I think the fast charging feature is another impressive benefit and you can complete a full charge in about an hour. Each bud also has stereo and mono capabilities, so you can charge one while you use the other at the same time. While it lacks active noise cancellation, like the newer Sony W1000XM4, they offer some passive cancellation at higher frequencies. The audio performance is solid, and it comes with a consistently warm and bass-oriented soundscape, but it lacks some dynamic range. The 12mm drivers give you a powerful bass response and an outstanding accuracy that can reach sub-bass levels, so the bass sounds crisp and it stays clear at higher volumes. I thought the mid-range response was also high quality, which offers some versatility and it accurately reproduces vocals and lead instruments. The treble response was underemphasized and it lacks accuracy, which can add some unnecessary brightness and make syllabants sound dull occasionally. I really would have liked to see a companion app with a customizable equalizer, but you do get a built-in interface on iOS devices that displays the battery settings of the buds in the case, but this isn't available on Android and it offers a limited functionality compared to competitors. So are the Powerbeats Pro earbuds still good by today's standards and should you still consider them? Well, I actually think they hold up pretty well. They still got a lot of really good features that will match or exceed newer earbuds with a classic design. If you're an Apple user looking for a balanced soundscape with surround sound capabilities and some customizable settings, the Apple AirPod Pro earbuds, which were also released a couple years ago, might be an excellent alternative, but the Powerbeats Pro are a great option for bass heads, and they come with an impressive sound profile and solid Bluetooth connectivity. If you're worried that these aren't good enough anymore, don't. They're still a quality pair of earbuds. But that's just my opinion. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. For links to updated pricing on all of the items mentioned, check out the description. If you guys learned something or you found this video helpful, be sure to give it a like and subscribe if you're new to the channel and you like short informative tech videos. Till next time, I'll see you guys later.